Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, exposing chinks in the armor. Who is like the Taliban? Brace yourself. The answer might be startling or something you don't agree with, but listen to the answers anyway, because they're the truth. The answers are answers that I've discussed with Hashem, the king of the universe. And whether you believe that's true or not, listen anyway, it has value. Whether you believe that I'm Mashiach or whether you believe that I'm talking to Hashem, put it on a shelf and listen to these answers. Because the longer you listen to me, the more you're going to understand, I couldn't make this up. And it's true. It's really true. If you open your mind and open your eyes, you'll see the truth in what I'm sharing. I'm going to give you two examples of who is like the Taliban for world peace. We need to know who among us is like the people we're afraid of and we consider terrorists and awful, the lowest of the low in the human race, right? I would say most of America would agree with that, the Taliban. If you look at the thumbnail on this video, people are petrified of the Taliban, right? The first example of who is like the Taliban are the left-wing liberal progressives. They are like the Taliban. They have been accused as such by the right-wing conservative, God-fearing conservatives. And they're right, they're like the Taliban. But I've also heard left-wing liberal progressives accuse the right-wing conservatives who believe in God of the same thing. So who's right? You're all right and you're all wrong. You're all like the Taliban. And I implore you to watch how your group, your ideological group are doing things that are just like the people you hate, the Taliban, or the people on the left that you hate, or the people on the right that you hate. You hate them all, right? Someone in this group despises someone else. And I want to show you how your group is doing the same thing. A chink, a dent, a hole in your armor. Number one, the left. The left-wing liberals support the LGBTQ and whatever other letters, I don't know what they are, X, Y, Z, the agenda for the LGBTQ people. So how is that like the Taliban? That's not, that's the opposite, Lori Michelle. And no, it isn't. And I'm going to explain how. You have an ideology that you think that that's just okay. I'm okay, you're okay. It's all love. And that is not true. I speak to the king of the universe. I've written about why that's not true in here. And it has zero to do with what I like or dislike, what I find exciting or repulsive. It has no bearing on my opinions or my preferences. It's not about me. It's about you. There's a law for every human being by our creator, and we have one, not to engage in those sexual deviant lifestyles. And they are sexually deviant. Why? He designed us and he said so, capital H-E. And he is real and you may not know that right now. Half of you may know the right-wing conservatives. I'm gonna to get to you in a second. 
He designed us. He knows what's best for us. And he said, do not do that. So if you do that, you are hurting. Who are you hurting? You're hurting yourself. It's all about you. I don't care what you like or dislike. It's not about me. Yeah, I may not like what you're doing. It might be eh, to me, but it's not about that. I don't like jello mold. You might love jello mold. Go ahead and eat jello mold. I don't even want to watch you eat jello mold. It's revolting to me. But it's not about what I like. Truly, I love people. I want what's best for you. If I don't share this information online, I harm all the LGBTQ people in all the world because you're in deep trouble. And what's worse about what you're doing to yourself is that you're being a role model for everybody else and everybody else is looking at you who is part of that movement and saying, she's happy, he's happy, I'm doing that. I'm changing my gender and it's legal and you're not allowed to say a word and I'm a person and you're not allowed to call me mother or father or call me by a pronoun that I don't like because it hurts my feelings and it's illegal and you're gonna go to jail for discriminating against me. But what about all the people who believe in God and in God's laws? And that's a law for everyone. People who believe in the king of the universe believe that's a holy sin, that the mother and the father is sacred, that your gender is sacred, that we're perfect as we come, and you're force feeding me an ideology and telling me I must accept it and I must change my language because you're offended. You're asking me to break God's laws. What happened to freedom of religion? It's an ideology, LGBTQ people, and the law now, the left-wing liberal people who want to protect that group of people, are infringing upon the rights of all people. They're taking away their freedom. That sounds like the Taliban to me. Does it sound like the Taliban to you? It sure does. Taliban has an ideology that's also putrid. Putrid. They're going around Afghanistan, I read, marking houses where there are children, girls. And abducting them and making them sex slaves, children, child brides, and sex slaves. That's what they believe in. It's okay. It's part of their laws. You will follow our laws or I'll cut your head off. You will follow our LGBTQ laws or you will go to jail and we'll take your money and we'll take your children. And by the way, if your child at five years old in kindergarten, shows a preference to wanting to change his gender, you parents have no right to stop him. You're taking away my baby? That's my child. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Your ideology matters more than my freedom and my right to pray to God and follow his laws and protect my children to do the same and raise my children the way I believe in my belief system. Do you see? Chances are, if you've clicked on this, you believe in God and God's laws. And so this is nothing that you haven't thought about and thought, yeah, so you're not telling me anything I don't know, but I'm gonna move to number two, right wing, conservative, God-fearing Christians. Uh-oh, am I gonna bash the Christians? No, I'm not gonna bash the Christians. I'm gonna expose the chink in your armor. Texas, Texas has a new law, a heartbeat law. Six weeks, no abortions. Whoa, whoa. 
Someone's protecting the unborn, the right to life. The babies that are unborn, we win. You're just like the Taliban. You have just made all the women in Texas sex slaves. The king of the universe just said yes. Let me explain something to you, and I've already posted it online, and probably I'm going to get thumbs down to you. I hate you. You don't know what you're talking about. You dumb old lady, you dumb Jew. And no, I'm not. I'm not a dumb old lady. I'm old. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. And I'm a Jew. And I'm the Mashiach. You don't have to believe that right now. Life does not. A human, oh, he's correcting me. See, I can't get it wrong. And I don't want to get it wrong. He said, a human being's life does not begin at conception. You're not a human being, an autonomous human being, a life, until you breathe your first breath of air separate from your mother. And you're saying, you don't know anything. And no, no, no. This is coming from Hashem. And if you want to know the truth, and you want to know what he desires, you'll talk to some rabbis because they know what I just said is the holy truth. Does that mean that abortion is never a sin? No, I'm not going there. I'm not telling you what, when it's a sin or when it's not a sin. What I'm telling you is you're being like the Taliban, taking away freedom from a woman to choose her for her own reproductive health. It's her womb, it's her health, and you've just blanketly decided, heartbeat, no abortion, illegal. You're gonna go to jail. And that sure sounds like the Taliban to me. It sure does. The reasons that the left-wing liberal people are giving that that's horrible, I don't necessarily agree with, by the way. But I speak to Hashem, and he says, a woman must have full control of her body and her reproductive health without exception. And there are situations in the Torah, in God's laws, where an abortion may be needed and necessary. And you've just made it illegal. You've just made a woman a criminal a sex slave. You will have that baby. I don't care how you conceived it. Rape, gang rape, too bad. It's a life. You've decided that that life is more important than the mother. And in Torah law, nothing is more important than the mother's life. Go check with some rabbis. Source it. I don't need to. He's my source. So, left-wing liberal woke people, your Taliban, right-wing conservative Christian evangelical, we're going to save those babies. Taliban. You hate me. I know. I know. And you know why I'm doing this? I'm doing this to help you. These are severe chinks in your armor. You are behaving like terrorists, all of you. I watch you online and I'm aghast. Freedom? America, we stand for freedom, but you don't know how to be free. You don't know how to give freedom. He gives us freedom. You're taking it away from everyone else because you've decided your ideology, your religion, whatever you believe supersedes everybody else's free will choice. You're so bent and determined to save unborn children at six weeks, yet I'm reading online that a lot of conservative right-wing Republicans are refusing to be vaccinated, exposing potentially thousands of people to a deadly virus. 
I'm not even going to go into the coronavirus right now. I've already spoken about the vaccine. You have a right to refuse the vaccine. But I'm looking at the difference here of you want to protect the unborn, right? To the demise of a mother who may need an abortion, she's decided, maybe her doctors decided, maybe the father decided for her health, for whatever reason, it's her choice. In the words of God himself, it's her choice. And you're gonna take that choice away because you're gonna save that baby. and You don't care about the mother, right? And in the case of the vaccine, you're not gonna get vaccinated. You're not gonna tell me to get vaccinated and I'm not gonna wear a mask. Potentially infecting thousands of people who are gonna die from a deadly virus that you contracted and spread in the community. Taliban, who do you care about? Taliban cares about themselves, their ideology and their need to be right. And so do you. And I expect you to hate my guts. And guess what? I don't care. You need to hear what I'm saying because unless and until you wake up, we're gonna perish this way. You're all nuts. You're all mashugana, left-wing woke people. You're disgusting. But guess out who else is disgusting? Right-wing conservatives, you're acting like you're lunatics. Hypocrites in the words of God. He just said yes. I don't make this up. I'm not here to disparage you. I don't go online. I don't give anyone a thumbs down. I have never done this to any of you, but I'm gonna sure as hell expose when you're harming yourself, your children, your neighbors, this chinks in the armor, everything that I've just discussed is only two examples and you're harming all of America, all of you. Please wake up. There are 12 boxing rounds in here where I show you how disgusting and vile this world is and how you're participating in the cesspool. And unless and until you sit up at attention and say, I'm not going to be part of the problem anymore, I'm going to get it right. Show me my chinks. Please show me. I want to change. I want to change this world for the better. I want to do it for my children, my grandchildren. Please, Lori, show me. I can take it. Hit me harder. Peace on earth. That's what this is for. God bless you.